Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Here's my breakdown of the NBA Finals Game 3 between the Phoenix Suns and the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis once again recorded 40 plus points to lead the Bucks, who registered their first win in the Finals. He got help from Holiday, who contributed 5 threes and 21 points. Middleton also added 18 points. CP led the Suns with 19 points, 9 assists, but Booker struggled with only 10 points on 3 of 14 shooting. Aiton got going early and scored 16 points in the first half before getting into foul trouble and sitting out all but 2 minutes of the third. His presence in the paint was sorely missed as the Bucks closed out the third on the 16-0 run. Giannis was 14 of 20 in the paint. So how do you try to limit him when he gets inside? Here's a couple of different scenarios. Okay. Here we see him bring the ball up in transition going full speed. Now, you have to stop the ball or build a wall earlier if you will, not waiting until he's already at the foul line. His long strides allow him to maneuver around the defense as we see here. So Kaminsky, all right? tries to stop the ball but he's too late right he's already at the foul line and he just glides past him for the easy layup so next we see Giannis as the roll man right he's the screen and the high ball screen a high pick and roll right here we see him setting a screen and rolling to the basket so two guys go to the ball he rolls now Booker is the tagger right here right he's guarding the guy in the corner he's supposed he's supposed to be tagging the big man who's rolling to the basket okay but he's too late now if Giannis catches the ball so deep it's probably smarter to just let him score instead of wasting a foul. Right? Here, he gives him the N1 instead. Alright, not a smart play. Okay, let's move on to the next play. Again, alright. Okay, let's pause it right here. So the screen is happening here. Bridges is the weak side. He's supposed to tag the Roman. Alright, let's see what he does. So it seems like he's ready. He's ready to tag. But for some reason, he runs back to the corner shooter and he allows Giannis to catch the ball. And he's so deep in the paint, nobody can stop him, right? So, let's go back. Okay, right here. So he, now Bridges, has to commit to tagging. Right now, even if Holiday swings the ball to the corner right here, right here, he still has time to close out, right? Instead of just running back to the corner and letting Yanis catch the ball, right? Let them swing the ball. You still have a chance to close out and play defense, right? Okay. So what's a better way to guard Yanis when he's the screener? Now, I would think that would be switching, right? when he's setting the ball screen, which we can see here, right? So they make some adjustments. Well, not really an adjustment. This was earlier in the game, right? So, so we see here, Yanis sets the screen. Okay, wait. Let's go back again. Let's go back to where the screen was set. So he sets the screen. Now Bridges, instead of running to the ball, he switches the coverage, right? So Crowder, Goes, guard the, goes to guard the ball and Bridges switches and he gets back in time, right? He switches and then there's no danger. The ball is reversed and Holiday makes a move. He's not even looking at Giannis right now, right? So switching works. Now in this next one, we see they switch, all right? But after you switch the ball screen, you cannot relax. Bridges relaxes for a second and Giannis gets great position inside. Now, 
When this situation occurs, the defender needs to front the ball aggressively, or rather front his man aggressively, right, to deny him the ball. Now fronting works when he is so deep in the paint because there's no space behind to actually lob the ball to, right? So even after switching, you cannot relax, you have to still front and deny him the ball because that's all they're doing. They want to get the ball to Giannis inside. Right here, he gets the ball. He's too deep in the paint, and it would have been an N one, right? But the the ref calls the foul on the ground, so they get away with it. Now another situation right here, transition mismatches. Okay, here we have Giannis in transition. He's getting downhill. Okay, we stop right here. Now the Suns have a mismatch problem now, right? Because Kaminsky is behind the play. So he ends up guarding Jeff T. So Booker has to pick up Giannis right here. Now his teammates have to do a better job of recognizing the mismatches and bump him off to guard somebody else. Giannis, even if you see here, Giannis takes some time, he's surveying the floor, he recognizes the mismatch. Now here, Craig, who is right here, he's guarding Portis, right? He should have bump Booker off right because we see as I continue the clip here we see Portis is just running through the pain right he could have switched the coverage with Booker right there right he could have went to guard Giannis and let Booker run this way to pick up Portis instead but they don't do it all right Booker is left on an island all right he's too just too small to try and guard Giannis in the pain Right? There's no way you can stop him when he's so close to the paint. So I think the Suns have to clean up a few things. Right? Of course, they really miss Aiton. Right? Without Aiton's size in the paint, they had a lot of trouble trying to rebound the ball. Especially, they, they, they gave up a lot of offensive rebounds all right? and putbacks. They just couldn't get to the ball. So there we have it. Drop a comment down below, right? Do you think the Suns can recover? Do you think Aiton can stay out of foul trouble? And will Booker have a subpar game again in Game 4? Like, subscribe for more future breakdowns. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.